So earlier uh, ab initio related scenario based questions, we have talked about rank function, right? So in this, we are going to check the d rank, dense rank, right? Dense rank function basically. I think it's in D rank or something. Maybe I don't know. I don't remember what we call it as in SQL or Oracle, but it is in, let's say, I think it's in dense or something. Maybe. So the, de the difference between rank and dense rank is dense rank doesn't skip any number basically. It gives the same uh, same rank to for the same same uh, amounts, but in succession it doesn't skip the basic sequence number. Okay, so it assigns the next successive label basically for the entire group. So if we talk about if this brings one group, one salaried group this group becomes one another salary group salary group within the department then it gives the two and this becomes a third salary group within the department number 30 this 1600 becomes the fourth you know salary group within a department number 30 and this becomes the fifth right so if we want to achieve this kind of functionality right so we can use the dance rank function so it's a similar way actually it works on the grouping, works on the partitions, and within the partitions, we can rank based on the same salary or something like that. Any metric, you know, that we have to see in our particular use case. But here I'm going to give the simple example, which is the department, people within the department, and they get the salary, and we have to rank okay and assign some rank right so to do that so we are going to follow the same steps so the beauty of the dance rank function is it doesn't skip the sequence basically but it assigns the numbers right so that we have already discussed upon this is slightly different from the rank function which we have implemented in our, my prior question right prior uh, video basically so let's see how, how it's, this can be achieved as an easy right now so that there will be a temporary type let's say previous amount and ranking i have taken okay and uh, initialize with one and in dot salary that is fine and scan ranking and uh, the previous amount so the previous amount is going to be the always assignment is okay but the ranking assignment makes very very you know it's a difference basically <clears throat> so what it is saying is if in dot salary is greater than temp dot previous amount right then temp dot ranking plus one else temp dot ranking so let's say for the first record this 950 has come into the previous amount in dot salary is also 950 so this doesn't satisfy but it comes here else temp dot ranking temp dot, temp dot ranking is one so my ranking is going to be the one for this for the next record right For the next record, for a similar, uh, for the same group, right? So it's a group based processing. So there will be a input, there will be a sorting, there will be a scan, and then output. So that that design is not going to be changed, okay? And uh, previous amount is going to be the salary, right? But I have to modify the temp dot ranking, right? So I think out dot ranking i have to modify i guess this one always okay uh, for the second rec record indoor cell is 
greater than temp dot previous amount that's true so temp dot ranking plus one so it becomes two okay and next record also it doesn't satisfy and okay it goes to two i do not have to modify this one okay here also i need to modify basically if in dot salary dot this one only i think i have to modify that only based on the condition i have to modify right if if salary changes then only i have to rank it next right else nothing right there's nil or i can say temp dot ranking only that you need to take take care right if salary changes only then ranking is incrementing okay otherwise same rank is going to be assigned if same salary same ranking next time same ranking is assigned right so this we need to take care upon and in finalize we just assign the rank is equal to temp dot ranking so if you look at the third record so we have third record 1250 salary is not no so we will give the same time dot ranking and for the 1500 no then i'll give the third as a rank temp ranking plus one third is the rank right ranking so I think I need to take one more variable out. Temp rank, let's say D ranking or something. I have rank tracking something. D ranking I have to assign though. This ranking is always depend upon this one only. Okay. So this you can say D ranking is going to be out dot temp dot D ranking. Let's say one I have taken. So temp dot D ranking. I have to keep. I don't have to give this one. So whenever salary changes, then I'll go to the this one. Otherwise, my same rank. Okay, I am not going to change this rank. Right, D ranking is always there. Okay, so this is how you can achieve it basically. You can manipulate these numbers, right, based on the thing. Okay, you can try running the things and uh, it may not be working probably. So, but you can try, hit and try. I mean, not hit and try. You can try this out actually if there is some some mistake in if and else okay so the the fundamental is i mean we can achieve these kind of scenario right so using uh, a initio scan component basically so with that thank you so much please subscribe my channel and uh, share it with others so that everybody can benefit on top of it we are going to see many more other initio concept and other initio interview based you know scenario based questions Thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.